Okay, uh, Assalamualaikum and very good evening uh, Okay, today I, Mama Aisyah Mudin And my friend Faiz Want to interview Mr. Atik Safety Promoter um, About our subject Certification, Regulation, Instrumentation and Control So uh, I would like to uh, invite Mr. Atik to introduce uh, himself. Thank you, Mr. Itisha Mudin and Mr. Faiz. Faiz. Uh, I'm Muhammad Atik Ben Muhammad Nasir, uh, safety promoter for the company Asman Kadir Engineering and Fabrication Sunda Bahar, uh, which is a subcontractor for MMHC Pasir Gudang. Uh, I'm from Batu Pahat and I've studied uh, chemical engineering which is far away, very far away from my major which is in this company I've become a safety promoter for a structural engineering department Okay, okay. Uh, how long have you worked in your company? I've been working here for about a year for this company and I've joined uh, about three or four projects under this company. Oh, three or four projects. Okay, can you share with us about experience uh, while you are working here? Uh, for my experience for being a safety promoter, I've been working uh, with the main contract, main con and also with the client regarding safety and health uh, for my job mainly at I'm covering the job at site which is most of my time I have to uh, done some site monitoring at the workshop or the at the external working area outside okay uh, there have any incident occur during your working? Uh, there's plenty of accident, but uh, there's always a minor accident happen. For major, we hope we, we don't encounter them at all. What the what is the example of the uh, minor for accident? For the mi minor accident that happened actually uh, for the first aid case. When you working with the steel or working with the equipment that require your competency or your require your training, therefore people, therefore the workers there are exposed to the specific, uh, what you call specific training regarding on the, based on the kind of work. Basically, in MMHC, they have welder, fitter, rigger, which require a different level of competency. So, if you are a rigger, you should know you should have a tradesman and signalman pass for you to work there, to work in any other company inside MMHC. If you are a welder, you have under, you have to undergo some training or some test to to get a pass oh. well the pass in there pass okay if the accident happened how do you overcome the, the, the accident uh, in MHG they have a specific department to to encounter this uh, this accident or this emergency response so that's called QHSC or what we call them ERT team, Emergency Response Team. Oh. So there we have uh, every every month there will be a fire drill uh, in any other object, in any other object, but in all kind of projects. So therefore, the workers have been exposed to the special. As opposed to the what you call drill, which is, I hope that there will be 
much more ready if any real accident happen to them. Um. <clears throat> okay. If if the if the any related procedure certificate and. Um okay if you don't mind may I know what type of certificate standard regulation that you use in your company uh, for my company they have been accredited with the ISO 19001 and the the one we are having right now is the OSAS 180001 so there's a very uh, detailed documentation that must be done to reach that level that OSAS which is a safety committee so there's many what you call there's many procedures and requirement for my company to achieve that OSAS accreditation okay can you explain to us uh, this is for our own knowledge uh, about safety and health. Uh -huh. uh, basically, in safety, <coughs> uh, they, there's two kind, there's two two phase of project project uh, project uh, what you call it? project completion, mm. the progress and safety. They say. If you go along the progress, you will leave safety behind. So if you go along with safety, you will leave the progress behind. But the the main idea is you have to move these two particular things together to achieve that what you call uh, success in in the company or in other project or in any other. What what you been doing? Safety or progress? So therefore, in safety, they they also they always say that safety is, uh, what you call, uh, what you call, apa ni cakap? Safety is, uh, sambil lewat. Oh. Uh, so. They will. They would not think about safety as long as they they can do their job. Okay, uh, as you know, you are dealing with many workers. Yes. Um, and setiap setiap orang tu dia ada lain lain pangai. Yes, pangai. Uh, pangai. So, macam mana? Uh, cik Cik Ati uh, Apa ni orang cakap Berurusan dengan dia orang hmm. So with people with different Kind of Emotional And level You have to counter them with What you call Supana hmm. Budi bahasa Budi bahasa Yes That's the first thing Because uh, they people will like to know you or don't want to know you based from their first impression. So if their impression first impression is bad, therefore they will not help you to get through with the with your job. They will, you know, they will respect you. They they will not respect you and they will not follow your order or your advice. Your Intervention, they will not help you with that. So, so budi bahasa is penting. Okay, um, I think that's all from us. <coughs> and, and and thank you very much, uh, Mr. Atik, for your time, your yes. advice. Yes. Um, okay, I think that's all from us. Thank you. So, uh, I have one. Uh, oh, okay, yeah, this. If you don't mind, uh, can you send the picture to us? Uh, the safety workers. 
Oh, okay, okay. Yes, about yes. the uh, environment. Environment of, the, uh, of the, yes. I can, yes. I will send you by WhatsApp. Ah, yes, yeah, yes. Okay, okay, okay.